Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon. And today we are discussing the dreadful emotion of rejection. Friends, listen, I want to encourage you that rejection, regardless if you try to avoid it or not, it's inevitable. You're going to be rejected, whether you are in Christ, whether you strive daily to work the harvest. Because listen, friends, the harvest is so plenty, but the laborers are so you. And one of the reasons is because we do not want to be rejected. But beloved, I want to give you um, a, a thought that the Holy Spirit has helped me to ponder for many years as I have walked with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that is this, in him, I'm safe. And because of him, I am scourged. So when you understand that, that friends, when you begin to speak up on behalf of this kingdom, which belongs to Jesus, he's Lord over the harvest, you're going to be rejected. But I want to encourage you, beloved, that some of us, we have to fight to get our foot out of that trap because when you are not properly handling the emotion of rejection, you become a very hard to get along with individual. And usually people who deal with rejection, where this thing has got a hold of you, you become very suspicious and you are always sabotaging, sabotaging your relationships, friend. When you sabotage relationships that God would like for you to to learn and glean from that situation, but you cannot get around just being a simple person to deal with. You can't get around the simplicity of social etiquette. Because you are constantly suspicious that people are trying to do you in and do you over. Beloved, you you have to go to God. You have to keep it real with yourself when you are sabotaging your own. It's like they say you shoot yourself in your own foot with your own gun. (laughs) <laughs> and remember, we are soldiers in the army of God. And friend, you will never, ever get used to rejection. Because as mortals, remember, when God created Adam, he told him to be uh, fruitful and multiply. He told him, well, rather him and Eve. But before Eve, he told him that man should have what? Dominion. So as dominators by nature, we do not like being rejected. And I want to encourage some of you that are struggling in broken relationships that many people, it's not that the person was so good. It's because rejection, which it rides pride. Follow me. When a person is not willing to really do your own soul searching, you will overlook all that that person did to you, all that that person was to you, which was usually just toxic. <laughs> these are the people you you still try to get back with these people in your life. And God is like, no, 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 no. That rejection was your protection. And if you don't see it as it is, it's pride that's pushing you to to try to go backwards because you want to dominate that relationship. You knew that person wasn't no good for you and you don't even miss all the the drama and the trauma that they caused you. You just want want them back because of ego. And if we're not careful, friends, we edge God out. We ego trip 
right back where he is trying to deliver you from these people that are not called in this season of your life. Stay strong, friends. Those of you that are in the harvest, yes, we get scourged, we get rejected. People want to fight, people want to... <laughs> friends, I meet all kinds of people. And and some people have these expectations of you that are not, they're not realistic. They think that we are some kind of superheroes. Beloved, we are just men and women that's in this harvest that said yes to God. And part of saying yes, Jesus said before a man begins to build, you must first sit down and count the cost. Part of the cost is being scourged, being reviled and persecuted. Friends, you have to know and understand it's worth it. Jesus was despised and rejected. He's a man that he was a man acquainted with suffering and sorrow. He knows all about being rejected, but we must abide in him we must keep our mind on the fact that our Savior, he walked this earth with, with tenacity, bravery. He was strong. And the scriptures say that those of us that know our God shall be strong. Be strong, friends. Take it one day at a time because every day has its own set of arrows and darts. Oh yes. Rejection is whether you are in Christ, you're going to be rejected. You must abide in the commandments that Jesus gave us. This is how you begin to grow as you go. Love God with your whole heart, mind, soul, and strength and your neighbor as yourself. When we really begin to value who we are in Christ, we can take a licking and keep on ticking. Why? Because we understand that eternity is final and it is forever. Wrestle rejection. Get it off of you, friend. Don't let it wear you out. Don't allow suspicion and flying off the deep end, accusing people and badgering them, and they haven't done anything to you. You just made that movie up in your own mind. (laughs) Shut it down. Love is patient, it's kind, it believes the best. And when we are tripping, just say it. For instance, I be tripping. It's days I be like, Sharon, you need to girl, girl, play, girl. See, you got to talk to yourself. <laughs> I'm my best friend. I don't need a best friend. I got a best friend. It's me, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is my best friend. And he is not like we are towards ourselves and others. He is an amazing paracletus. That word paracletus is the Greek word for comforter. He is that. Make daily strides to love God and to receive his love through Holy Spirit. God bless you, my friends. Pick yourselves up, soldiers. Dust yourself off. Get into the harvest. Get into the harvest. And don't be afraid. It comes with the territory. Amen. God bless you, my friends. Till next time.